Good evening here at 530. More than two years after a 16 year old girl was beaten and then dropped off at a hospital, her boyfriend goes on trial. Haley Hall was in the hospital for two weeks before she died. William Arnold is accused of killing Haley. Local 12's Walter Smith Randolph was in the courtroom for opening statements and he is live with details on what the jury heard today. Walter. Yeah, Kyle and Paula, this really comes down to who beat up Haley Hall. The prosecution says it was William Arnold who savagely beat up his then-girlfriend and then dropped her off at the hospital without a care. But the defense says it was a group of unidentified girls, so the jury will have to decide on who they believe. Today, we also heard from the victim's mother, who had to fight back tears during her testimony. It was an emotional day for Rhonda Byrd, as she was the first witness to testify in the murder trial of William Arnold. The 34-year-old is accused of murdering Bird's daughter, 16-year-old Haley Hall. If I would have walked past the room, seen my daughter laying there, I would have never recognized my daughter. She was unrecognizable. The prosecution and defense agree. Haley was savagely beaten. The question is, who did it? The defense says it was a group of unidentified girls. He said that she was attacked in the gravel lot by five to six girls, black girls. He doesn't know why she was attacked. Maybe they were jealous. But the prosecution says Arnold admitted to beating up the 16-year-old. The defendant says, look, I, I got into it with her. I saw her get out of another guy's car. I didn't mean for this to happen. The defense says that's not possible because Arnold tried to get Haley some help. When he gets there to the hospital, it's too little too late. He wishes that he could go back to that moment and he would have made her go the night that she was attacked. Either way, the beating apparently was so bad, doctors had to airlift Haley to University Hospital for trauma treatment. Doctors told me she was brain dead and that her brain stem was dead. Took her off life support. Testimony in this case continues tomorrow. We expect to hear from more witnesses, but because Arnold has a history of witness intimidation, those witnesses don't want to be identified. If he is convicted, Arnold faces up to life behind bars. For now, we're live outside the Hamilton County Courthouse. Walter Smith Randolph, Local 12. Mm, all right, thank you. The a jury started the day visiting the scene of the crime, the Inner Circle nightclub. It's on Kellogg Avenue in the East End. The prosecutor says that's where Arnold, Arnold Beat Hall surveillance video shows him carrying her in and out of a motel before dropping her off at the 